Hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not investment advice. So this video is another deep explanation video. You see I'm a European trader at the top right and uh, I do not have the OTC market and that is the reason why I'm doing this kind of amazing deep explanation videos on weekend because I'm really busy. Uh, uh, in the week I'm doing the bot mentorship program yes, for my students and I'm uh, are working on a lot of other projects so uh, I have really limited time but I don't uh, uh, I don't want to uh, lose this opportunity to educate you all because that is why I started so many years ago with my YouTube channel I want to educate you to be, prevent you to be scammed and uh, those one who are willing to learn they are watching my channel they are subscribing to my channel and they are um, yes following my channel and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to trade the most reliable trading setup that is uh, um, the, um, the the exhaustion candle yes the exhaustion candle is one of the most reliable candlestick patterns but you need to know how to trade it and before i'm going to explain you how to trade this i have to do some kind of uh, important um, things here i have to cover some of those kind of questions which i get almost often so the first question is what is the difference between the bot price action guide and the bot price action bible and i will do this really short for those one who are seeing this again and again and again because i know it's really annoying but i have to do this because i get so many emails and so many questions about this the bot price action guide are only illustrations 120 pages only illustrations of those kind of concepts which i have explained in my video you need to watch the videos to understand those things which are written here in this bot price action guide because here you have only Ill images you don't know how the criteria are you don't know how the pathology is you don't know how um, the entry point should be you don't know how uh, how to trade this kind of stuff yes because it's not written there you you have to watch the videos to understand that means you have at least to watch 120 videos to understand those kind of illustrations which i have done in this bot price action guide because you see i'm talking here about the high highest probability trading setups but from this you cannot imagine what i mean when, when, when what does this mean yes you have to watch the videos yes and the same thing is here you have see here the fake breakouts you don't understand what kind of fake breakouts how you can identify them what does mean because you have to watch the videos that is the main difference yes uh, and that is um, uh, explained those kind of things are not explained in the bot price action guide you find only the illustrations you find the link to the videos and then you watch the videos to understand what the bot price action guide is telling you in the bot price action Bible instead you have 270 pages full of illustrations which are those one also bot price action guide including uh, explanations yes you see here how big it is yes you are, are 270 pages of candlestick pattern chart pattern bot concepts and on uh, high probability trading setups and all those kind of stuff mindset stuff yes and uh, everything explained in detail yes and so in detail that you find here criterias pattern psychology support and resistance entry point how to trade and here you see also advisement how not to trade because that is what more a lot of traders do not know how not to trade a tra uh, setup yes because not every candlestick pattern what you see is also a trade it has to uh, be some kind of conditions met yes and based on these conditions and this kind of context you can trade a pattern or not and that is what exactly that what i'm going to show you today when i'm going to show you how to trade the exhaustion candle uh, it's not difficult to uh, um, to uh, identify an exhaustion candle yes it's not difficult but not every candlestick pattern is yes, not can be traded like this because if it would be like this everybody would get uh, some kind of candlestick pattern uh, recognition indicator and when you see an engulfing candle, you trade an engulfing candle. No, that's not the right thing. Because else everybody would be rich. Everybody could be a professional trader. Yes, that is not the reality. The reality is you have to uh, gain this experience and you have to learn this. And those kind of things that are uh, explained in the uh, bot price action bible the bot price action bible is the first thing what you should do if you want to become really a, um, a, a, a trader a professional trader the first investment should be the investment in the bot price action bible because that would show me and yourself that you have the, now the investor mindset because an investor is investing in his himself first and then in everything else and that is an investment in yourself Yes, which will prevent you all, not only 
uh, from losing a lot of money also not to be scammed yes and uh, yes by a signal provider or by account manager because you know after the spot price action bible uh, what trading means yes what those kind of things means the concepts and everything so the bot price action bible can be found in the description yes in the description there's a link to the bot price action bible and uh, uh, i can only say to you get this because this will help you a lot and then a part of the, uh, this bot price action bible is valid for any kind of financial instrument i don't know i get so often the question can i use it also for forex can i use it for a uh, cryptocurrency yes you can use it for any kind of financial instruments yes uh, um, for any kind of broker and any kind of time frame these are concepts which are universal because we are talking here about the bot price action bible price action price action is universal you can use it for any kind of financial instruments yes uh, the concepts so and this bot price action by the first investment into the bot price action bible because the bot price action bible told, tells you exactly the fundamentals and uh, but this is all theory yes and because of this you need the bot price action the bot mentorship program self-study module video packs the video pack one for the beginner, video pack two for the uh, medium ones, video pack three for the advanced ones, and video pack four for the uh, pros. Yes, um, there are explained those concepts which I have explained in the ebook in detail. There, they are on real chart. That means there are those kind of um, trades which have done my students, bot mentorship program students. They are doing good trades. They are doing bad trades. Yes, and depending on those kind of trades, I have explained exactly how to trade those kind of trading setups properly, what they should avoid, what they should do better, what they have to trade instead if they are going to uh, fail uh, some trade. And so you get the complete package. Yes, you get the bot price action Bible, which is giving you the theory. And with the video packs, you get the real chart uh, practice uh, examples where you understand exactly what I mean when I have explained this in the Bible. Also, video packs can be found in the description you will find the link in the description yes and the conjunction the um, uh, the video pack with the bot price action bible are your tools yes to become successful profitable and that is also the reason why you get those kind of things when you apply for the bot mentorship program that is my study material which i'm giving you to you yes and those kind of study material uh, yes you need to become a successful profitable trader to become a member and a student of a bot mentorship program you need nothing else to send me an email to my email address botobotrader at gmail.com with the subject bot mentorship program that will be enrolled the free application process and i can only suggest to all of you to and recommend to you all to you to get into this bot mentorship program because only the application process yes which is free will increase your knowledge will make you a better trader only the application process yes because i'm uh, teaching you in this kind of application process what you should know to join the bot mentorship program and what you need to know to um, uh, become a professional trader yes all those kind of steps in the application process and i will not accept each and every student i will accept and it doesn't matter if you want to pay me or not yes i'm accepting only those one who are willing to become a trader who are fighting for it yes who are those one who are giving his, her, her blood to become a trader yes and uh, not because you are coming with money because money is not that what i need yes i'm doing this because i'm doing this for passion i started this youtube channel for, uh, for two years ago why i want to change something i want to help people and that's the reason why i will not accept everybody i will accept only those one who are willing to give everything to become a successful profitable trader and when i'm talking about everything i'm telling the, i want to see this in the application process that you are trying to do this yes because i don't want those one who are wasting only my time yes because my time is precious and i have nothing uh, something else better to do than wasting my time with uh, those one who are dreaming about something but are not willing to do this so in this case i can say only um, to join the bot mentorship program do this fast 
Yes, do this fast because I'm telling you already uh, since a long time that I will not do this forever. Yes, I will, and it's better for you that you get your feet into the bot mentorship program by sending me this kind of email to my email address botobotrader at gmail.com with the subject bot mentorship program so that you uh, are sure that you get mentored by me. Yes, and uh, because I will not do this for long anymore. Yes, and uh, uh, it's better for you. And that is really um, what I can suggest to you. Uh, get into this bot measure it will change your life yes like it has done so many other and uh, getting so many emails from my ex-students yes and do get only released from the bot mentorship program and that is my guarantee if you are a successful profitable trader yes else you will not be released and that is nobody else is giving you this and i'm giving you the best study material yes in form of the bible and in form of videos yes that you can and also with my personal coaching yes which is a, a really really an amazing thing so join it yes do it i cannot uh, tell you this often enough uh, but I cannot force you to your luck. You have to do the step on your own because if you find money on the street, you have to go down and pick up. Yes, I cannot pick up the money for you. You have to do this on your own. Only to make it clear that you have to take action. Yes, if you don't take action, who will change something? Uh, when you do always the same thing, how can you pretend that they will change something if you are doing always the same thing? And I can only say to you, get the bot price action Bible if you don't have it yes because that is the first step and then get the video pack to uh, a profit to make this all thing complete yes and then i can promise you you will uh, improve your trading dramatically and you will make and all the trading will make sense and you will execute trades with confidence yes you will not have any more any kind of fear Yes, because you know exactly what kind of trade setting, setting setups are right. And today I'm going to show you how to trade the exhaustion candle. Yes, because so many are trading the exhaustion candle, but they do not know how to trade it properly. And so they're going to fail because they are only trading the exhaustion candle like every other candlestick patterns. Yes, but you cannot trade the candlestick patterns alone. You have to understand the concept. So, okay, let me see. Um, I will get back later. Yes, uh, later I will get back to this image here. Yes, because you see here, there, there, here are some exhaustion candles, and I will explain why they didn't work. But this will be later. So let me see. I will prepare, and you see, it's Friday evening session. Friday evening session has already prepared for me. Yes, uh, the uh, image exactly the chart, the live chart. Yes, for doing this kind of video today. So let me see. Uh, yes, the video pack can be found in the description the link. Yes, and also. So the bot price action Bible can be found in the description too, yes, because at the end I get the, so often the questions, how can I get, um, how can I get the Bible, where can I get the Bible in the description, where can I get the video packs in the description, yes. The only thing what you don't get in the description, but there you find my email address, is how to enroll the application process for the bot mentorship program, and that is by sending me an empty email to my email address, botobotrader at gmail.com, uh, with the subject uh, bot mentorship program, and then you will enroll the application process, which will be uh, eight steps that will be eight steps yes which will um, check if you are legible to uh, become a successful profitable trader if you are not doing this and you get rejected that means yes you have to cover much more topics that you have to learn some more and that you maybe have to practice but you can apply them again that so be don't be uh, sad about this if you get rejected that's because it's only a sign that you have to need, learn to learn more and that means also in general ah yes and the bot mentorship program has no fixed costs only to let you know this, yes. The bot manager has no fixed cost. The cost of the bot manager program depends, first of all, from the time when you are applying for the uh, application process. Yes, uh, earlier you start uh, the application process, less you have to pay. And the second one is how good you go through the application process. Better you go through the application process, less you have to pay. That is what I, and that is also something what nobody else is giving you and nobody else is doing to you. Yes, because that is only because somebody who knows already so, uh, a lot don't need to pay more it's so clearly yes um, so uh, and those one and i say always the early bird catch the worm and those one who are starting earlier yes has to uh, get a, a bonus only for that that they are starting earlier because that means that they are this they have to decided and that they have the decision okay so okay now we're going to start because i have covered all those kind of things and we are going to discuss today how to trade 
the exhaustion candle, the one of the most reliable candlestick patterns, which are telling you exactly what the market is about. And I have prepared here already something for you, so that uh, I don't waste your time in uh, uh, with with drawing and those kind of stuff, because that is not what I want. I want that you get through this kind of stuff really good. So, and I have prepared today this kind of stuff here. So here is exhaustion candles. That are the exhaustion candles here. We have, there are two types of exhaustion candles. The first type of exhaustion candle is this one, yes. And you see here on this kind of exhaustion candle, the trend is losing momentum. The candlesticks are getting tinier and tinier, smaller, smaller. And after this small candlestick patterns, you get a big huge candle this big huge candle after the trend got really lost momentum lost steam yes uh, the candlesticks are getting smaller 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 you get a big huge candle which is bigger than all previous candles and that is what an exhaustion candle is yes the exhaustion candle is the last tentative the last uh, test of the buyers or sellers depending on if you have a bullish or a bearish candle yes i'm doing this only here for bullish ones yes because uh, it would be too much but for the bearish one it's the same like the bullish one only the opposite that is the last tentative of the um, of the buyers yes the last bullish tentative where they give all their forces yes to convince the market to convince the sellers to give up yes um, uh, and yes and that is the last energy of the buyers. And after this, um, yes, uh, that is telling you mostly, mostly um, that the trend is over. Yes, that the trend is over. But that now it's coming the important thing. The trend is over. Doesn't mean that the next candle will be a bearish one. When I'm showing you here, when I'm showing you here an error, and that is for the whole Bible, the concept, yes. If I'm showing you an error, that doesn't mean that the next candle will be a bearish one. That means that the next trade should be a put. That means that you have to enter above the closing price with a put. Yes, not only waiting that it will be a bearish one. Yes, because the last tentative, you know how it is. It can be also that after this last tentative of the buyers, there is still enough buying pressure to make a weak bullish candle. Yes, and they have to, uh, something like a high wave candle or a spinning top. And here I have explained exactly how you can recognize what kind of trade you should do. So, if you have this kind of scenario, that the trend is losing momentum, the candlestick will be getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and at the end you get a nice exhaustion, uh, a nice exhaustion candle. Yes, you get a nice exhaustion candle, something like this. The uh, the majority, the mostly often, mostly often, you have to do a put, yes, uh, because it's logic. The trend has losing momentum, start, uh, start losing momentum. Then the last tentative, the next trade is a put, mostly, mostly in these conditions, yes, in these conditions which I'm telling you, you do a put, yes. And the first condition is in ranging market, yes, in ranging market. In consolidation areas, yes, you are in DNA crossing. And then here you see those kind of things which I have explained. Here, for example, for a put, let me show you this because that is what I'm trying to explain you over and over again. So I show you now where I took this kind of pictures here. These pictures are coming exactly from here where I talked about this kind of stuff here. About the EMAs. Let me see where I have to see how many pages it are, and they are so uh, educational. So here, here you see it. For example, uh, ranging market. Yes, here ranging DNA crossing. In those kind of conditions, you do after this engulfing uh, this exhaustion candle. Yes, a put. Um, when you have flatness in the EMAs, then you do a put. Yes, you don't do a put. Yes, when you have this one trending. Steepness, trending, and trending steepness here in this kind of condition, then you don't do a put. You do only a put if you have this kind of stuff where I've written here, ranging, 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 yes? And maybe also consolidation area when the exhaustion candle stop at key level. And the same stuff you see here with the Bollinger Band, you do only a put option if you have a constriction, ranging, yes? Uh, support and resistance because the EMAs are uh, the Bollinger Band is flat. That is the condition when you do 
report yes else you have to do and that is what i have explained here let me show you this so here yes you see here only in ranging you do puts yes because that means that the trend has reached as yes, the key level and then you do a put when do you call, do a call you do a call when you have steepiness and trends strong trend yes strong trend then you stay and you do a call and why do you see this if you have a steep 20 ema price for example then you know that you're trying when you are between the one deviation upper bollinger band and the two deviation you cannot see this if you are trading naked chart and on naked chart each and every exhaustion candle looks similar Yes, and you cannot handle this because you cannot see the difference. But if you see a steep 20 EMA, then you know that the next trade is not a put option. The next trade is a call option, but a call option not on the closing price. A call option, like I have explained here, below, below the closing price. That means below the closing price. That means here. And then it's almost important where this kind of support and resistance level is. Yes, depending on the support and resistance level, you have to understand. You use the support and resistance level to do a call, or you use the 50% level of this candle to do a call. Yes, because it's also support and resistance. Yes, or uh, yes, uh, uh, or you use the candlestick patterns, which are there maybe. Let me show you this like this. Copy, copy. So you have to understand this. You see. Uh, here, for example, on the path, on the price action, on the path, you have here maybe some kind of a reversal happening, yes. And then you use this one, yes. And when you have here a bigger upper shadow, then you do instead of a call, still a put, yes, because this is showing you then selling pressure, okay. If you have no one or a small one, you can stay always in a call. But the call should be always below the closing price. And if you do a put, your put option should be above the closing price. Yes, and preferably be above the upper shadow of the exhaustion candle. That is the first exhaustion candle. Yes, and I have explained now exactly why and how you have to trade a put or call yes it's not always a put it depends mostly from those kind of market condition those kind of uh, context so the second exhaustion candle is this one this exhaustion candle is a box range breakout um, this happens at the end of a trend yes this happens at the beginning of a trend and that is a major difference when you have an exhaustion candle at the end of a trend yes then you do mostly a put but only when you have these conditions here when you have an exhaustion candle at the end of a trend yes and you do a call only with these conditions yes that means you'd enter below that means below the closing price that here a put or above the closing price i have to rem remind you again and again about this because a lot of uh, traders do forget this because the entry point is pretty important that means this this errors do never mean in the whole bible what price action bible yes in this bible this error doesn't mean never that the next candle will be a bearish one that means only that the next trade should be a put yes because uh, the entry point has to be above the closing price because you don't never know it can't be that the next candle will be a doji so often after an exhaustion candle and that is what i'm telling you from my experience i have experiences yes i'm not telling you something what i read in any kind of book because no book is telling you this that is what my experience is telling you yes because i have passed through it the next candle after an exhaustion candle will mostly not be a bearish one it will be mostly a doji yes because the exhaustion candle can stop at key level and when it stops at key level the next candle will be mostly a doji yes and that is the reason why you should try to get above or below the entry point uh, uh, closing price of the previous candle i cannot tell you this enough you see how emotionally i get when i'm telling you this because that is what uh, uh, affecting my heart i want that to know this so and that is this one okay so and then we have the second exhaustion candle that is that one which happens at the beginning of a trend 
And this uh, is completely different than the exhaustion candle, which ends up uh, at, the, at the end of the trend. Why? Because this is a box range breakout. You have here some kind of consolidation area, yes, some kind of ranging market or something like this, yes. And then you get a huge candle, which is bigger than all others, yes. And it's getting out of this box range. The next trade, mostly, should be a call option. Not that the next candle will be a bullish one. No, it can be a bearish too. Yes, but the next trade should be a, a call option. Yes, because that is at the beginning of a trend. Yes, and we got out of this uh, of this kind of box range. That means that we have a lot of buying pressure. We have a lot of buyers there waiting, and which are uh, protecting that what they have decided before with this kind of exhaustion candle, because they have still energy. Yes, and then. You should do a call option, yes, uh, again, you see this below the closing price, yes, like always, uh, at least to, uh, at the 50% level, or if you have some kind of support and resistance, you do this, um, you do this uh, close to the support and resistance. And important here is that the market condition, yes, uh, that is not important, the market condition, because at the end, it's a box range breakout, and that is all very clear, uh, that there is enough power, um, which is pushing up the price. So that is a difference. You do a put option, depending on the wick. That means if you have here an upper wick, which is big, then you do a put option, and the distance, this is also important, you have to watch for out for the distance, yes, if it was here, in this case, uh, also, if it was a big distance, yes, that means we broke the uh, support and resistance with determination. Because if you have an EMA here running in between, if you have an EMA running here in between, you don't do a put, yes, because price would try to do a retracement. Price tries to retrace. One second. So, okay, price tries to do a retracement, yes, but. The problem is it gets rejected from the support and resistance level and then it will be a bullish one. And that is uh, why you should try to enter above the closing price of the previous candle to get this margin of safety for the case that it got rejected from the support level yes, and doing a pullback. And in this case, here the same thing. Yes, If you have here close a support and resistance level, you have to understand from where the price is rejected and uh, important is to understand is when you are at the end of a trend then you do a put uh, after an exhaustion candle and if you are going as a boxer range, range a breakout and uh, a big candle uh, in some kind of ranging market then you do a call and now i'm going to show you this on the live chart yes because uh, you see those kind of things happens and i'm showing you this exactly now on the live chart because that was what happened on friday in the last session, on the last uh, New York session, at the end, exhaustion candle in form of a morning star. Yes, really huge. Next trade call. Yes, next trade call on support and resistance call. Yes, because it's at the beginning, a really huge exhaustion candle. Yes, bigger than all candles before. Yes, and then you see here, you see here, exhaustion candle again. Yes, and then you see here a bearish one entering above the closing price you see bigger the upper shadow uh, much more selling pressure and then you can show a nice entry point here yes above the closing price and then you can do a put yes and that is what this should be yes i have explained this now in detail uh, you cannot fail anymore to do an exhaustion candle trade if you have failed get to this page yes get to this page of the price section bible or the bot price section guys uh, or watch this video again and you will understand why you got a losing trade on the exhaustion candle which is one of the most reliable candlestick patterns they are telling you exactly how the trend uh, at what kind of point the trend is yes and that is how to trade it and that will nobody tell you that uh, is what uh, i have experienced on um, on my own because those one who are telling you things are only reading things from the internet or something yes and i are only repeating repeating and repeating the same bull beep Okay, so that was it in this, in this sense. Um, if you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye-bye.